Hi, this is Al Hassan Shakir, a grade 11 student from Sharjah American International School. I am supervised by my physics teacher, Mr. Shadi Al Qassas. In this video, I'll explain three ideas circular motion, gravitational forces, and a planetary motion. Circular motion is the motion of any object moving in a circular path. It can be described by three physical quantities. The first is Vt which is the tangential velocity Tangential velocity is the velocity of any object moving in a circular path Tangential velocity is always tangent to the circular path If the tangential velocity does not change it, the motion is called the uniform circular motion uh, Vt is always changing direction so it always causes a centripetal acceleration Centripetal acceleration is the acceleration of any object moving in a circular path is due to the change of the direction of the velocity which is the vt ac is found by the following formula ac is equal to vt square over r centripetal force is the force that maintains circular motion it can be found by the formula fc is equal to m times ac and since ac is equal to vt square over r we can replace the formula to get fc is equal to m times vt square over r the gravitational force is shown by newton's law of universal gravitation fg is equal to g constant times m1 times m2 over r squared we can also find the formula of the gravitational field strength which is equal to the uh, gravitational acceleration since g which is the gravitational field strength is equal to fg over m we can replace the f we can replace the formula to get g is equal to g times m1 times m2 over m times r square we can cancel the m and get g is equal to g constant times m over r square the m is of any planet for example earth the r is usually the radius of the planet plus the altitude which is the distance between the distance between the object and the surface of the planet <coughs> now I will talk about planetary motion the history of planetary motion it all started with Ptolemy and his geocentric idea which stated that the earth is at the center of the universe Copernicus stated that the Sun is at the center of the universe and that planets move in a circular path around the Sun however Kepler proved them all wrong and stated that any planet moves around the Sun in an elliptical path and that the Sun is at one of the focal points of the ellipse Kepler's second law states that if an imaginary line is drawn from the Sun it sweeps out equal areas in equal time and inter intervals so if we have the Sun over here and there's a planet over here if it changed its position in a certain time its area is equal to another area ha that has the same time his third law stated that the square of the orbital period which is the time a plant takes uh, to revolve around the Sun 
is directly proportional to proportional to the cubic value of the orbital radius which is the distance between the any planet and its sun so as the cubic value of the orbital radius increases the square of the orbital time also increases from this law we can say that the orbital period can be calculated as t square is equal to 4 pi r cube over g constant times m and the uh, and the orbital speed can be calculated by the following formula vt square is equal to g times m over r these are kepler's three laws thank you